Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the best FPS for Halo Infinite. Now before we dive into it, if you could just drop a like, it does help the algorithm. Definitely show this to your friends who play Halo as well. It'll give them a significant FPS increase as you guys will see shortly. Alright, so let's dive right into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go down to the search bar and type in game mode. We're going to open the settings here and make sure game mode is enabled. Okay, now that was quick, easy. Next thing we're going to want to do, hit the Windows key and R. Essentially, you're, you want to open the little run here. And then you're going to copy and paste local app data, Halo Infinite settings. I will put a link in the description, as you guys can see on the screen here as well. Open that up. It's going to actually take you to your to your settings for here for Halo. So you're going to, you'll see it's a .json uh, file. So you're going to need to right click that open with and now I personally just do notepad to make it easy. Now you're looking for two things here so to make it quick just control left for find and you're going to want to find the target frame rate so I just type in target. You have your minimum frame rate and your target frame rate. I would recommend keeping them the same however if you do for some reason want a little bit more fluctuation a little bit more wiggle room there then you by all means lower what the minimum frame rate that you would want is. But I personally just did 180. My monitor is a 144 hertz, so I would definitely at least recommend sticking to your monitor. Now with that being said, the reason I chose 180 is because my computer in most games can typically push about 200 to 220. So I figured a nice safe bet would be 180 here, just to keep it above the monitor refresh rate, keep it a little smoother as well as keep everything looking good in game. Okay, so once you have that set, just save it and close it. Now we're going to boot into Halo and I have two more parts to show you in Halo, so we'll be right back. And here we are, so now we just have to go down to the bottom right, you'll see the gear icon in F1, click that, and then go to the settings, video. You're going to see here minimum and max frame rate should be set to what you had set in the file. The reason you change the file and not in-game is because in-game it has limitations whereas the file you can set it to whatever you want. Head down to graphics here. Now the big thing for graphics is you're going to set almost everything to low and off and you'll see as I scroll through everything. Now texture quality you can actually set that, you can actually change that based on your graphics card. If you're not running on a like an, a high-end graphics card, I would still recommend just keeping it on low. But if you're running on, let's say, like a 3080 or 3090, you can turn this on to ultra and you won't see any FPS drops. Reflections, you're one, you want to keep off. Volumetric fog, off. Dynamic wind, off. You'll see here animation quality. I would actually recommend setting this to auto. Blocking quality off and async compute I would recommend enabling that should give you roughly 10 to 20 FPS depending on your build. Now you can see here under sensory I have blur screen shake exposure turned off full screen effect I have down to 40% speed lines are disabled and sharpening is at 100%. Okay so after you have that I would recommend hopping in game Seeing how everything feels, if you notice that you're still having all kinds of FPS problems or maybe let's say you're having input lag on mouse and keyboard, then what I would actually recommend doing is coming back to the control panel here, go down to manage game, and unchecking the multiplayer HD content pack. When you apply that after unchecking it, it'll uninstall it and that should, that should help with your FPS drops and will most likely fix your input lag issues as well. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now, oop, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually head in game. I'm going to hop into Academy and training, and I just want to quick show you how the game's running with the build or with the setup we have. All right, so let's head into it. All righty, and we're back. We're booted into deadlock on training mode here just to test the FPS. As you guys can see, I'm holding 180 with dips to 170, 175. Honestly, the dips are probably because of the fact that I'm recording in OBS. If you guys are just gaming, maybe have Discord and stuff open, you shouldn't really have any problems. 
Um, let me know if you do have FPS dips, but again, you should steadily hold whatever FPS you have it set to, maybe with dips of 3 or 4 FPS, but that would be normal in a game. Um, other than that, guys, that's really all there is to it. If you know of any other methods or anything specifically that might be causing problems, you know, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you are still having issues after doing this, let me know and I'll take a look. I'll see if there's something I can do to help you out. Alright guys, other than that, please drop a like if you haven't already. It, would help, it helps me greatly. I would greatly appreciate it. Show this to your friends if they have any FPS issues. This will definitely help them as well. Alrighty, that's everything. I have a bunch more Halo videos planned coming up soon, so just keep an eye out and you'll see a bunch more content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening all the way to, all the way through, listening to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon.